Today on the show, we're up early, we're headed to Taco Bell for a little custom order, the Reaper Ranch Breakfast Crunch Wrap. Make it happen. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. Trying to get this Reaper Ranch sauce as much as possible before they take it off the menu. And then a heartbroken Sean <laughs> appeared in a Taco Bell. They don't have the Reaper Ranch anymore. Yeah, Dude, it's like being heartbroken and then immediately finding a better date. <laughs> you know? Yeah, you break up with one girl and your new girlfriend's even better. All right, so the audible happened. Two triple-double crunch wraps. They're back at Taco Bell acquired. Jump cut. Got a lot of napkins, folks. A lot of napkins. Gotta figure something out with this. I <laughs> get a rubber band. I got a project today. Years ago, we did this on the channel. We were just young YouTube lads. Cheers. Cheers. Oh man, first bite's good. Holy sh And they brought it back, and today, we're gonna take you in for another Corey Wagner second angle. All right, good looking branding as Taco Bell always does. Oh, I forgot, this is gonna be a boring one. Yeah. There's really no way to show it off. I mean, I it's just a big crunch wrap. I know. There's a bunch of stuff in there, you'll have to just believe me. <laughs> um, I've been trying to take these apart and it's a nightmare. It's 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 a big old crunch wrap. You know what we could do? Here, show the official Taco Bell commercial. It's the meteor shower of the decade, but you're too busy gazing at double the beef the layers you love. They cut them so beautifully in that. Yep. Taco Bell has the worst tomatoes of any fast food company. That's my hot take. Should have brought the scale. Yeah. I feel like mine's like not that heavy. Hoya, 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 hoya. Did you ever play Ultimate Frisbee in college? Nope. Daryl Durbin and Joe Butters looked at that disc and saw something revolutionary. So the whole shtick with this is normal crunch wraps have one tostada and meat and cheese on two sides. This, they just, they add another one. <laughs> it's just thicker. All right, folks, wanted breakfast, not a bad audible. Triple double crunch wrap, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. First bite was good. Sometimes really you don't get meat in the first bite. I know. I did. I did too, look at it. It's good, this is packed well. They're so nice in there. They're, that's very, very nice customer service in that location. Mm -hmm. That's the same lady that rang us up last time and got the Reaper Cheesy Gordita mm. Crunch. She's really nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Wow, this is packed up real good. It is, I made this very, very good. So, I ordered the Reaper Ranch breakfast one, and the guy that was like, I think he might've been cleaning around the side, he came over, he goes, what do they want? He goes, oh, I had that, that was fire. Like, knew how good yeah, it was. Dude. So at least that made me feel good. There was some closure there that I, yeah. that I needed. Yeah. <laughs> that I needed. <laughs> Yeah, I'm still bummed about this, by the way, that I never got the Reaper Ranch sauce on the breakfast crunch wrap with bacon in it. I don't know. Man, this is really good. It's filled with cheese, sometimes with crunch wraps. Crunch wraps are always good. And if you're giving me a bigger crunch wrap, it's gonna be better. Now, the thing is, sometimes they cannot pack them well. This one is packed beautifully where every bite's got a ton of cheese, mm -hmm. a ton of meat. I'm not disappointed at all by this. This is just a really good, hefty treat, a hefty Taco Bell treat. Very hefty. Hefty, hefty, hefty. Ladies. 349, 700 calories, and this baby inside of it has seasoned beef, nacho cheese, lettuce, reduced fat, sour cream, and tomatoes. The nacho cheese sauce is really good. It's really good. It's like mixing with the meat, and it's making a very nice mixture. Mm hmm This is great. And you know whose episode I recently watched on this and just think he's so charming? The Devourer. Oh, man. 700 calories, though. So, yeah, if you're gonna eat one of these, just know that um, it's almost up to half your caloric needs for one day. Let's give it a big old bite. I love his, like, subtle sarcasm. Yeah. I just love subtle sarcasm in videos and personalities. <laughs> really creative, super duper, you know, I'm sure they had their creative minds behind all of Taco Bell's uh, amazing items. Really hard at work overtime on this one. I think we were both raised on subtle sarcasm. That's my whole upbringing. Mm -hmm. Subtle sarcasm runs through the Ely blood. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's, that's a big old thing. Mm -hmm. Can I give you a hot take? No. Wait. Yes. <laughs> So I have always thought, I've stopped getting the regular crunch wrap when I go to Taco Bell because most of the time, they don't fill it enough. So you're eating a lot of bread, there's yep. a lot of just lettuce stuffed in there. I love that they took the crunch wrap and made it basically just more favorable. Yeah, I'll gladly pay 350 for that if I know it's, I could cut that in half and share that with you. Be yeah, be fine. Yep. Yeah, share that with like your girlfriend, your boyfriend, husband, wife, whatever. 
your babysitter. I don't care who you share it with. You don't need a whole one of these. You don't. But you know what? I'm gonna end up taking this home and eating it. Really? Mm -hmm. You do leftover Taco Bell? I'm such a psycho, bro. No food goes to waste. Fast food is and will forever be a one-hit wonder for me. I'm yeah. never, I'm never eating it going. I'm gonna reheat this uh, this McDouble for yeah. later. Oh, you're the because you're that's how it should be, Corey. Right. right. <laughs> but the Ely's. You know what, if food's in front of you, you're not throwing that in the garbage. My mm -hmm. dad would like, if I had a little bit of mashed potatoes on my plate at home and I was gonna scoop them in the garbage, he'd be like, hey, hey what are you doing? Yeah. You would eat them. He was, Even he was great, stuffed. He was raised during the Great Depression. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Before we rate the triple double crunch wrap out of five on this show, let's go ahead and do some shout outs. Yeah. Shirt shout out, shirt shout out, shirt shout out. These are all the awesome human beings who buy shirts. And boy, do they do it right, because these people are the next up folks. That means that they bought more than one item, skipped the line, and just are now ready to hear their wonderful name said on this wonderful show. One of the best ways you can get the next up is if you already wanted a shirt, just add a $5 sticker sheet. We just recently re upped our stickers. We got a whole fresh pack of them, so snag a fresh pack of sticks. Carry on my taco son. There is cheese and meat where you begun. Oh, sick shirt, bro. It's got a big old fat dragon on it, bro. Wearing gray socks with brown sperries. I love it. Doesn't give a budge. First shirt shout out, one of the OGs, the creator of the Number Six with Cheese Facebook fan page, Mr. Jeffrey D'Agostino. Oh, man. D'Agostino. Uh, him and his son Ben, huge fans of the show. He bought a Sure I'll Have a Drink shirt and stickers. And uh, for that, I'm gonna clap again. That's a winning order. Yeah, he's the best, man. Thanks, Jeff. Shirt shout out number two, a man with two first names. One male, one female. Who could it be? Kyle Heather. Oh, Kyle Heather, that's, that's a good name. Name. Yeah. name. Yeah, let's see what Kyle bought. Uh, sure I'll have a drink shirt and a white koozie. Mad respect, Kyle. I love those koozies, man. Those Corey, koozies are sick. You know what's ironic about that? What's that? Our shirts have a heather hue to them. Wow. We kind of got it heathered. Wow. So thank you but, so much. And maybe his middle name's Burgundy, because the shirt he bought, sure I'll have a drink, is Burgundy. Burgundy Heather. Thank you guys so much, number 6 with cheesecom Buy two items out of the store and you jump the line. You're a part of the next up program. All right, here we go. All the fast food fanatics on YouTube wanna know. What do you rate that out of five? So today, out of five, Heather Locklears. Ooh. Ooh. It is happening, mister, and I want you to be there to see it. How many Heather Locklears do you give the triple double crunch wrap that's been reintroduced in 2019? Corey. That was the world's tiny skateboard. Oh, barely, one of, was it one of those like little penny ones? get one foot on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Um, that's really good. It was really good. It's not um, innovative. No. You know, it's just uh, more stuff. It's like, it's like, it'd be like if there was like, oh, we got to, you know, our famous burger. What if we gave you a double burger? I know. Right. Or a triple burger. It's exactly like, what it is. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's just bigger. All right. Yeah. I get that. So it's not, it's not going to be perfect because I mean, what, you know, not, I, I like innovation. No, it was tasty. Um, I'm going to give that 3.25. It's very, it's good, but not anything special or That's great. still well above average. Well above average. When they released that a couple years ago, it ruined the regular crunch wrap for me because once you can have way more stuff in it, it's more hearty and there's just more to it. I can't eat the regular one anymore. It seems like I'm eating like a little tiny, like if you had a, a Big Mac and then a White Castle slider, mm. that's like to me what my dumb brain does. So like, yeah. I just wish they would just kick the other one out and make that the standard. Um, so, but it's still really good and when they bring it back, it's just something that's fun to get if you're craving it. I'm gonna go 3.5. Wow. Wow. <laughs> a lot of clapping today. In this area is just, there's so, the people watching over here is fascinating. Fantastic. You can see two completely different people walking next to each other. Mm -hmm. Like, All right, guys, thank you so much for watching yet again another Number Six with Cheese video. We're back here live tomorrow. And by live, I mean we pre-tape it, and then it goes live at 9 a.m. Central. We'll see you then tomorrow. Thank you guys so much, Number Six with Cheese.com. Get yourself some merch. Bye. Peace.